97.9 The Box. Good morning, morning H-Town. Yes, Keisha, J-Mac, Jess. Well, no J-Mac. We're just going to do a girl talk here today. Keisha okay. and Jessica. <laughs> Special guest. We got K. Michelle on the show. Welcome. Hi, ladies. Hi. How y'all doing? You look good. You look good. Oh, thank you. Thank really you. Good. I talked about some of the colors today. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Loving the colors, man. The, the last time we heard about K. Michelle in H Town, Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> K. Michelle, I will say congratulations on getting a day in Houston. Yes, congratulations. You, you got the day, you got off stage, it was presented, and then all of a sudden, there was a lot of noise. <laughs> And yes, July sixteenth is K Michelle official K Michelle Day in Houston. I came in. I would do a lot of shows in Houston, like mm -hmm. one of my biggest fan bases, and just like like support and love. And I got off the stage, and uh, I was presented a day, and you know, this is like five years ago. And um, literally, it was like artists like they I should have got a day, and why did she get a day? And ah! and it it went. I think I was going through so much mm -hmm. in life as is. Like my name was always here and there, doing this and that. I was just so caught off guard, you know, that I was like, oh my god, I don't want to upset the people in Houston. <laughs> you know, I'm like, you know, I, I didn't fill out an application. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I didn't. I just love the city. You know, I love this place. So after I got it, I kind of was just like, you know, try to help like behind closed doors and like quietly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the city is growing so much and I'm looking for different, you know, energies and places to live. So I just got me a Houston, you know, realtor because um yeah the market is great there i really think my restaurant needs to be in that market um who knows maybe i'll do part of season two of my killer body on lifetime in houston just you know something you know there for the mm -hmm. city but mm -hmm. i i really would love to embrace it Mr. K. Michelle, like, look, I didn't ask for the day, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, don't beat me up. I'm not going anything to beat me up. Like, yeah. please, no. Yeah. And, and, uh, speaking of okay. your show, speaking of your show, uh, you know, you've impacted so many women. And I know that you set out to tell your story. And I know you set out to help other women. But did you think that it would be at this magnitude? Uh, no, I was just running my mouth like I always do. Just you know, I always tell my business, like if whether it's through song or just running my mouth, I'm gonna tell you what I'm going through. I'm not that mm -hmm. friend, I'm like, yeah, everything's okay. No, mm -mm. I if I'm going through it, I don't have a poker face, you see it. So, mm -hmm. just like people have grown with me to the positives in my life, they deserve to see the things that might not be so pretty that's going on with me, you know. So I came up with this idea and I said, well, let's just tell the truth about what they don't mm. talk about in the industry. Let's tell the truth behind the photographers in the Photoshop. Let's just tell the truth as to what it is. So Jesse Collins, you know, who is absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. I got to go in his Super Bowl production. So mm -hmm. happy for him. Um, he my partner in this and we were on another network at first and i wanted to remove it because i wanted the complete truth i didn't want to like hit it like okay yeah this is surgery this and that no i wanted you to meet these people i wanted you to see the surgeries mm -hmm. i wanted you to see wow. what happens when you make that decision good or bad you don't know how your body gonna react so we ended up going with lifetime and this show has been in the works for two years Oh. So it, you know, it's really crazy to see such a positive response and the people, not just a support for me, a support for everyone on the show. Mm -hmm. Like people are supporting them, uplifting them, their families are, you know, helping them heal. So it's been a thing. It's been something that I didn't think was going to do that. You know, I, I got a chance to watch all of the episodes that's been out so far. And when I tell you I was sitting on the couch crying, 
Because, oh, you know, yeah. as women, you you want to be accepted by society. You want to look like what you see on Instagram. And you'll go as far as doing what you have to do um, to look like that or to be accepted. And then when you realize it wasn't worth it and your body was fine the way it was, and then you have to really, like, sit down and look yourself in the mirror and have these conversations with your family, have these conversations with your friends, have these conversations with your kids. I was just like, this is this is actually real reality. Like, we've seen you on right. reality shows, but this is reality for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's just, like, um, this past episode this week, like, I was just sitting there crying. Like, just kind of watching it. And I think what people need to understand is, like, you know, like celebrities and things, we're able to have the best photographers, like, and do the best things. Like, you know, some of your favorites, you probably walk past them in the grocery store and didn't even know it was them. Wow. Like, uh, and that's just what it is. So we're selling our highlight reel on um, Instagram and social media. Like, like, you know, that's a part of my job. But I also do, I do try to show a balance. Mm-hmm. Like as well, you know, super fly pictures or just pictures that are just mm-hmm. like just kind of chilling, and then I get on live in my bonnet, uh, mm-hmm. whatever is going on with me. So I think it's a balance, and I think, um, you know, I just wanted people to know that girl that I had is honey. Mm-hmm. No. To get you to this point, you you actually went through a lot of stuff yourself and complications, um, and trying to get some things out of your body. What was the lowest point you you were at Kim Shore, like the most pain that you had felt? At what moment? And you were like, am I going to survive this? Oh, I think it probably, you know, I was I had to have and people, you know, like say, oh, she had like surgery. I've had like 13 surgeries in three years and it hasn't mm-hmm. been for fun and cosmetics has been to live. So um, I would say probably around the fifth one is when, you know, the blood transfusions and they came, everybody was terrified. And, you know, I was just praying to live. So, um, you know, this is my first year out of surgery, um, being completely, you know, healthy. You know, I still have to take care of myself, like, to the extremes. Mm -hmm. Um, I can tell when I'm not. But, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is like my first year not being on somebody's table. Mm. Do you feel like with this show, you have like a sense of purpose in life? Not that you didn't before, but like, because you know, a lot of times we do things and like, oh, this is my craft, this is my, I have a talent that right. I'm gifted mm-hmm. here. But like, what are you really doing for other people in life? Do you feel like this is a little bit of sense of purpose for you? I feel like um, we all in life, you know, have things and i feel like for me it's almost a writing my wrong and i feel like it's almost i take on a different um approach and get to see things that i haven't seen i've done tv a long time now but i haven't been in these situations before Mm -hmm. and where people are trying to beat me up Mm -hmm. oh i'm not having to curse somebody out (laughs) you know i'm really good at that but you know it's a different thing to not have to go to work and fight it's a different thing when you're fighting for somebody you watch somebody fight to mm. leave that's a mm. different kind of fight you know what i'm saying yeah you, know, you I don't know it just it it's 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 saying can send chills up your body because like you know you go home and these people just told you their whole life mm. and you know you don't just walk away like i you know I'm the producer of that show. Like, I have to watch edits and do all of that. And I get to see, you know, there's stuff I pull out and say, no, I don't care if she's being open. She wasn't like that, I, you know, mm. or and things like that. So you still take on these people's, you know, full life and you have their life and their stories in your hand. Mm. The one young lady, when she said she was selling off her own skin, I was like, oh my God. Oh, oh sorry. Was so- yeah. oh, wow. Um, I had never, I was like, you, you scraping off your own skin? Mm-hmm. That young lady basically treated herself through her whole surgery, like um, the healing with someone she met online who was a nurse wow. who took her, you know, story to heart, you know, because she couldn't afford to like go back to the doctor that had messed her up. And she mm-hmm. was treating herself like scraping skin from her own body daily so that new skin could grow. Mm. Wow. 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 I used to have been in TV a very long time and uh, you know, you do a reality show. Now you're actually doing acting. Mm-hmm. 
Let's talk about that. that. Um, I did single black female with Lifetime yeah. with Amber Riley. Amazing, you know, Raven. Like those are my sisters. Like, and we had so much fun. And they really are amazing at what they do. They have a lot coming up this year. So I'm rooting for them and you know, kind of gearing up for you know what I got going on too. I gotta ask, Kim Michelle, is this something that you ever heard about yourself and you were like, that's so not true. That's not me. This is <laughs> this is a big misconception of who Kim Michelle is. Come on, y'all. No, I hear so much stuff. It kind of be funny, man. Um, <laughs> I love it, my Lord. Jesus. <laughs> but um, it's but when people always meet me, they always be like, Oh, yeah, you're so nice, you're so mm-hmm. cool. And I'd be like, You the one took that reality show. <laughs> and did that and made yourself feel like that about me people will only understand you for the level from the level of their saying or understanding Mm -hmm. like perception is their reality right so um i get to when i meet people i usually i usually keep them you know as Mm -hmm. far as supporters and things like that um but i i've heard just i heard stuff all i i do her stuff. Your fans are die hard too. Your fans are die hard. And they're gonna be at the show tomorrow. You and Jeezy taking the stage at the Arena Theater here in Houston. Yeah, that's Incredible. Um I just like um I absolutely love Jeezy, you know. He's hopped on records. I remember my first album came out. He's surprised and like paid for my album release party and things like that. And it's never been on anything other than just like a support. So I'm happy Mm -hmm. to be doing some dates with my brother. I'm happy um, about, you know, his marriage and his new baby. Mm -hmm. And this is my first time seeing him, you know, since all of that. So we go get up there and do what we do. Okay, Michelle, you do a different type of R&B that I feel that is out right now. Because R&B right now, I feel like, and I love all the artists, is really vibe-ish, right? It's like everybody, yeah. it's, a, it's a vibe, you know what I mean? Which is cool, yeah. but but I find that a lot of R&B artists are not singing, singing, you know? Do you yeah. think that when it comes to R&B, do you think that it's going to shift eventually back to where people are actually singing? Yeah, it always should. You know, mm-hmm. stuff always comes back. I think it's a time of a vibe, and I respect those artists and how they portray their hurt or, or what mm-hmm. they're going through. Um, I've always been that straight, like just like R and B, like you know what you know, like when I go and watch like Genius and watch um, Genius Aretha, you mm-hmm. know, and things like that, and the Whitney's and the Mariah's and the Jagged Edge and the you know, that's what got, grinds my gears to get me going. Like, I'm in your face. But I do, um, it's a lot of new R&B artists that I really, I, I, I like them. And I really like their take and their craft. But I do feel like people are going to have to open their mouth again in, in the next couple of years. Oh, yeah. I can't, can't wait. Hey, you know, you have a birthday coming up, right? Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> issues from it because I'm ducking off. I got a birthday. I'm going to a cabin like I do. I don't. I don't want no hoop and holler. I don't want nobody to talk to me about my birthday. I like I that though. Like never just get ducking it. off to a cabin. Like I love that. I, I would do the exact same thing if I could. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't. Like I never. I've worked every birthday. Like every single birthday for six years. Mm-hmm. And just is a time where I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing a hosting. I'm not doing anything. I'm literally, as my Amazon packages come, <laughs> I literally uh, <laughs> going to like go do what I love to do. And mm-hmm. I, I'm going to a cabin. Um, I'm going to be with my family. And mm-hmm. I just want to eat good and do fun stuff and just not think of anything industry. Let me tell you something. Peace of mind is just non-negotiable. I Isn't remember just working, your, oh, just working your life to death. That's cool, but at some point you gotta say, "Hey, I need this balance." My peace of mind is non-negotiable. <laughs> yeah, my fans, I see them like, "Oh yeah, what we doing for your birthday?" No <laughs> <laughs> social media. You won't find whatever out there. You know, mm-hmm. just my last work week, mm-hmm. and I'm going to, you know. I just want to kind of focus then because I lost my my grandfather right at Christmas. And, you know, that was like the worst Christmas I ever had. 
Mm -hmm. and i just kind of saw family so instead of just kind of turning up maybe i'll do some later but i'm mm -hmm. really not a turn up girl um i wanted to do something with my mom <laughs> or my dad mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. for my birthday because time is so short on things you know so that's what i'm gonna be doing for my birthday i love that i love I, I really do love that I love yeah. that. All right. Well, K. Michelle, thank you for checking in with us today. Yeah. We love you. I'm going to have to go to the show tomorrow and come meet you, girl. Oh, y'all come. Y'all yeah. come. Um, Whatever we need to do to get it set up, y'all come and we'll okay. just, you know, chill and, mm -hmm. and drink and sing. Yeah. Yes. I need to come meet you. How about we do that, Jess? Yeah. You down? Oh, okay. come on. I'm down. Okay. We'll come. We'll come. We'll come to the show tomorrow. Love your voice. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We so love much. you. Thank, thank you so much for checking in with us. Okay, bye y'all. See y'all tomorrow. You.